So this is our uh, part five uh, QuickBooks tutorial video. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, uh, create invoices, receive payments, and record deposits. So, so this video is going to be general. So if you, if you have QuickBooks Pro, that's okay. If you have QuickBooks Premier, that's fine. And QuickBooks Ta Accountant, that's fine too. So I'm just going to talk in general how to create invoices and how to receive payments and how to record deposits and in between uh, how to send it to undeposited funds and then post it to your bank account. So we're going to start from scratch. Let's say create invoices right here. And before we do that, let's go back to the home screen again. As you can see in the home screen, it's create invoices, receive payments, and record deposit. So you create invoices and uh, uh, don't make deposits before receive payments. So create invoices, one, number one, receive payments, number two, record deposits, number three. So don't make this one and this one two and then make this one three. It won't work. It will be a big mess. So it's one, let's follow the chart here. One, two, three. All right, let's get started. Okay, let's create one customer here. I already have one or two here. Let's just say Jefferson Construction. And in this case, we're gonna do the uh, uh, consulting in, uh, service. Let's just create a new one here. A new screen will open like this. It's a type of service and let's say consulting. Consulting and you have to select a uh, uh, chart of accounts, account, account number from here. So let's just say this is the revenue one and to the income one here, construction income or or you want to create a new one, let's go in here. So you want to create a new one. You want to make this uh, uh, income type and we want to call it consulting income. Okay, consulting income, so we're going to close. So, when we use consulting as the item code, it will post your revenue to consulting income account. So that's how you see in your uh, in the profit and loss report. Okay. So in this case, the quantity doesn't apply. Don't worry about that. So let's put the amount, fixed amount. Let's say it's uh, ten thousand dollars. Right here, ten thousand dollars, and uh, date is here. Invoice number three, and the create terms. So do you want receipt? I need fifteen or whatever. Let's just say do you want receipt in this case. All right. So save and new. Okay. So let's create another one. Same. It's consulting one. Consulting one. Let's say another also ten thousand dollars. Okay, so terms, do you want to see it and your customer in which number and save and close. And if you want email, you can just do an email in here. So that will work too. So save and close. Okay, so at this point, we created two invoices. So what that means is we should see accounts receivable for two invoices. $10,000 for one customer, another $10,000 for another customer's account civil should be $20,000. So how to check that? Let's go to reports and customers and civils and AR aging summary. So as you can see here, it's $20,000, 10,000, 10,000, and it's a current date right here. So that works pretty good. So let's go back to the home page again. Okay, so now you receive payment. So 
You receive payment on those invoices. Let's, let's go to receive payment screen. All right, so select a customer, Jefferson, select that one. So you can just say automatically apply $10,000 if it's different. Then you can change that in here and $10,000 right here. So this is the amount of check. It's very important. You have different amount, then you have a different amount in here and you have to show the same amount in here as payment. Okay, so by check, the check number, let's say one, two, three, four, five, right here. Okay, and save a new. Okay, and the next one, let's say this one in here, encrypt this, and we'll tell you automatically calculate payment. Okay, yes. $10,000, $10,000, check, check number. Like this, and save and close. Okay, so at this point, so you create an invoice, you receive payments. So what that means is you have recognized revenue, and then you also receive payment. So you, if you go back to the AR agent again, it's gone now. So if you go to PNL. You should see twenty thousand dollars as your income for that day. Twenty thousand dollars right here. All right. So this is a different one from previous transaction. You just do today. So twenty thousand dollars right here. So there's no expense. Anything we did in here. So is it is it is your income from those two invoices? Okay. So let's go back to the home page again. Okay. So we did one we did two we haven't done three so this is when you will see bank deposit okay so click this one and the some the screen something like this will open so this is when you have to decide how you have deposited these two checks to your bank account if it's a bad deposit, bad best deposit for twenty thousand dollars, select these two. So this is the amount twenty thousand dollars. That's you have in your bank statement. You see twenty thousand dollars in total for the, for these two checks deposit or bank uh, uh, online when you check you should see twenty thousand dollars or you just made a uh, single deposit. You just did. $10,000 deposit and uh, that's what you see in your bank statement or a bank account then you will select one but this is how you have to select so one or two if it's a bad deposit for these two checks it could be more than two it could be 10 20 whatever so you have to select all those make sure to match this subtotal with your uh, bank statement Let's say you got these two checks and uh, you wrote a deposit slip for these two checks and total comes out $20,000 and that's what you see on your bank statement as well. So click this one right here and you can see here these two and uh, let's select the bank. This is where you have to select bank. Let's say in this case uh, this is your Chase checking account right here Chase checking account and a deposit in here and let's say you made a deposit next day 25 doesn't matter or 24 if you did it today just do use 24 and uh, as you can see here so it, it comes from undeposited funds the reason is when you do when you did, did the receive payments the default was selection undeposited funds that works pretty good if you're making a bad deposit that's fine just to leave the way it is and just one more extra strip but it works out pretty good for your consolation. When you have time to do your consolation, it makes your life a lot easier. So let's do this one. So save and close. Everything is good. Everything is good. And uh, if you want to add memo, you can add memo in here. Add memo in here. You have everything in here. And uh, another thing is, let's say uh, your bank dedu deducted ten dollars for bank service fee for something related to this transaction. These two deposits. What would you do? You won't see twenty thousand dollars in your bank statement, a bank deposit. You will see twenty thousand, twenty dollars less. 
to just say twenty dollar less. I'll just put in here. So let's say this is what you see in your uh, in your bank statement, and let's just say this happens to be bank service fee. Just here's the expense here. So here's the net amount. This is how you do the net amount in order to get to your bank deposit amount. So it's a negative here. Oh, it's, it's in here. Like this. So this is how you have to do it. So in this case, this is a straight two deposits for twenty thousand dollars. Let's not let's just forget those two. This line here, the delete, enter delete. Okay. So the moment you do save this one, it will uh, transfer money from this the claiming account on deposit funds, and it will it will deposit to your bank account. So save and close. Okay. So now. We go to reports and balance sheet standard. We should see twenty thousand dollars. See right here, Chase checking account twenty thousand dollars right here. So this is how you. This is your deposit for today. See these two. I have these two. So this is how you have to do it. Now if you go to customer center, as you can see here, there's a customer and payment, the balance is zero. Customer, payment, balance is zero. So this is your customer center. If you want to show customer center, so you have to create invoice like this, all uh, shells receipt. So this is how you do it. Let's go back to company and homepage again. Okay. So in summary, that's what you, what, what you have to do. Create invoices. Very easy to do. And so you create invoices if they're gonna pay you later. If you're gonna if they're gonna if you already receive a payment, you don't need to create invoices, just create sales to see. And it goes directly to the card deposits. So that's for another video. So this in this video, one, two, three. One is create invoices. Number two is step number two is receive payments, and number three is record deposits. Okay. So, so what happens if you do the bank download? So we're not going to talk about that in detail, but just briefly. So. When you do the download, it will also show this $20,000 deposit. So at that point, all we have to do is mass the deposit. So it will say when you when you download, it will say uh, it will download and it will say you have 1,000 deposit. Do you want to confirm this match? So it will say yes, and that thing will go away. So don't try to add from the bank download. So bank download is in here. Don't have it in here, anything in here, so you have to do it from here. Bank feeds, and set up bank account, and all those things. But uh, so when you do that, then all you have to do is confirm the match, and that's it. So now, another question is uh, why do you have to create invoices? Uh, it's just too much effort for me. And I just want to do bank deposits. I just want to do bank deposits and uh, bank deposits, make deposits for income, and I don't want to do anything else. So let's see what happens when you do this this way. So let's just create another one here. Let's create another one. Let's say Hillcrest Construction. Quick add and the customer and account we want to choose the same income account consulting income. Let's say check number is 897 and payment method is check and the amount is let's say 11,000. Okay, so this one is basically you don't want to. Create invoice, 
I don't want to do anything. Uh, I'm, I'm going to cash basis. I'm just going to record whenever I get the payment. So this is how you do it. But the problem is, you will see later, so if you want customer center report, it won't, it won't help you. So this is basically all cash transaction. It's basically debit your bank account for deposit and credit your income. So it has nothing to do with the customer center here. All right, let's save and close. Let's see what happens now. Remember the $11,000 customer is Hillcrest Construction. Okay. So the, in, the, the income wise, it comes out okay. So 31,000 and 11,000 comes from Hillcrest right here. The income side is fine. Everything's good here on the PL side. 31,000, that 11,000 right here. Plus, let's go back to the customer server here. All right. So the uh, Hillcrest. So there's nothing here. That, although you use the customer information there when you did the deposit you don't see any any transaction in here nothing on the customer center whereas when you do the invoice you also see right here okay. so if you want a quick report there's nothing to generate but it's blank nothing there whereas on the other two if you want a quick report you'll see report like this so if you want to report and also on the customer center like these two you have to create invoices if you just do the bank that's accounting wise that's okay but uh, uh, if you have if you need more reports customer income tag reports then you have to create invoice so that's the difference so you can just do the bank deposits from here you don't want to do invoicing, but you know the difference now. All right. Thank you very much for watching this video. And we have more videos to come. Thank you. Bye.